Welcome to the hard drive treasure hunt. What mysteries do these hard drives hold for us? Are they full of bitcoins that we can sell and make millions of dollars? No, there's, there's no bitcoins on here. I'm pretty sure of that. And I'll be the first to jump up and down if there are. What these are, are a number of hard drives that I've pulled from laptops that I've decommissioned or desktop systems that I've decommissioned. Maybe they're external hard drives that have pretty low capacity by today's standards or external drives that I used to carry around. And there are files on here that maybe I didn't back up to the cloud or I didn't save. And now I want to see what's here before I completely wipe them out and or physically destroy them to get rid of them. Now, there's many things that we need to do with hard drives. We need to maybe repartition a hard drive. Maybe we need to recover data from a hard drive. Maybe we need to wipe it out so that we can get rid of it safely. But doing that is often pretty challenging to do unless we have a cool tool like the one that I'm going to show you in today's video, which is Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now, an interesting story with this particular tool. So about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I had my laptop. I was working from home like everybody, and the C drive of the laptop was filling up. So I did whatever I could, right? You know, you delete temporary files, you get rid of programs you're not using, but it was kind of continually coming up. I was just constantly having this C drive problem. So I did some research and I found the mini tool partition wizard and it said, uh, you know, that it would allow me to clone my C drive. And I thought, well, you know what, I'll give it a try. So I did. So I bought a new hard drive with much higher capacity, a terabyte hard drive. And then I took my existing hard drive and I cloned it onto the terabyte hard drive. I did the cloning and then I took that terabyte hard drive that I cloned onto, replaced the hard drive that was in my laptop, and I just rebooted. I didn't have to reinstall operating systems. I didn't have to reinstall apps. I just took a clone, put the clone in the machine, and life was good. And I was pretty impressed by that tool. Then, out of the blue a couple of weeks ago, the company that makes Mini Tool Partition Wizard, Wondershare, they contacted me and said, hey, have you heard of this tool? We'd like to look at sponsoring a video. And have you heard of the tool? Is it something you'd be interested in letting your viewers know about? And I'm, I was like, oh, I've heard of the tool. I just used it last year to really help me with the C drive. And they said, well, you know, you can do things like recovery. You can do things like partitioning. You can do things like wiping partitions. There's a whole bunch of things that we can do with the tool. And I said, that's great. I'm, I'm pretty sure that people who watch this channel are often in the same situation where they need to recover hard drives or partition hard drives, whether it's for a classroom where you want to have a cloned hard drive that you put out, or whether it's at home where you're trying to recover space. Or in my case, I had one friend who lost a bunch of family photos on, on an external hard drive, and I was able to use that tool to recover them. So, so they said, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll give you five free copies of the software and you can give them out to your viewers um, as a contest. So stay tuned, I'll tell you how to enter the contest, but this is the first ever contest for learning and technology with Frank because I have five free licenses for the software that I can give out to you guys. But before we do that, let's first take a look at the tool. And I have so many hard drives, I have a whole box down below with 60, 70 hard drives, and now I'm going to go through them. And I use a couple of tools as well, a couple of pieces of hardware, so that I can quickly go through these hard drives using the hardware to connect the drives to my system, and then I can use the partition wizard tool in order to find what's on here, do recovery, and do all sorts of really neat stuff. Let's have a look. So I have the mini tool partition wizard running. You can see I can do data recovery, partition recovery, disk benchmarking. That's very handy. I, I like that, especially when I have an external drive that I'm connecting through a hub and I want to see what my throughput actually is, or if I want to compare a couple of hard drives. I also have a space analyzer and that has saved me in the past as well, where I had a drive that was filling up and I was, you know, what are the large files on that drive? I was able to very quickly go in and find some virtual machines actually that I would put into a, a bad location. Um, well, bad for me. I didn't know where they were. And then I was able to get rid of them, save a lot of space. Here's the migrate an operating system to a, to a new hard drive. So that was really handy with my laptop. I was able to take my hard drive that had the operating system on it. And I migrated that over to a brand new one terabyte SSD drive. Got a lot of benefits out of that. Lots of different things we can do. You'll notice here that I have five hard drives with many partitions. 
So a lot of these hard drives have other partitions besides the main partition here. And if you go into the file explorer, you'll see that it just represents each of these drives as one drive. This is where I'm storing my data. So if I go in here, you'll see I have many more partitions than just the five. Now, one of the things I can do is take a piece of hardware. Now, you can get these very inexpensively, and you can either get a caddy that will connect up to your system and allow you to put hard drives in it, or you can just get this uh, simple hard drive uh, connector that uses a USB. They're powered, so they have external power to them, and then you connect them in through the USB. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to connect in a drive. So I've got a hard drive connected to one of my hardware devices here. When I plug it in, my mini tool partition wizard is going to recognize the partition. So it says, oh, you just plugged in about a hundred gigabyte NTFS drive. And notice there's no assigned drive letter. So if I go into my file explorer, there's no additional drives appear here, but you'll see that it does appear here in the partition wizard. Now, if I'm using Windows Partition Manager, I would have to go in and I would have to write a signature to the drive in order to recognize it. But what I can do here with the, the Mini Tool Partition Wizard is I can go in and perform different functions on this partition. So, for example, one thing I could do is I could convert it from NTFS to FAT. So I could go from the NTFS file system to the file allocation table file system. So it takes a few moment to read moments to read the drive. Now there is one thing to be aware of when you're using the tool. Just because I've executed the operation, you do need to come down here and click the apply button. That will now apply the changes that you've made and it will actually go through the process of converting NTFS to FAT. Now that operation can take some time, so I'm not going to allow it to complete. I'm just gonna take this partition and show you how I can recover data. So one of the things I can do is do data recovery on the partition. And this is something that I do use quite a bit to go and get files off of drives before I then wipe them. And I'll show you how to wipe them as well. Now notice this, I have a ton of partitions because every drive I have in my system has several partitions. But if you look underneath, you'll see the ones that are connected by USB are identified. You can see my solid state drives are identified as well. So if I look here, you can see that I have a drive here connected by USB. This is the 100 gig drive that I just connected. Notice there's no associated drive letter with it. So I can scan that drive that I just connected to see whether there's any files that I can recover from it. Now it will take a few moments again for it to go through and scan the entire drive. And it is recommended that if you do want to do recovery of the drive, you wait for this scan to complete and it can take a little bit of time. So it might be something where you leave it running for a while, grab a cup of coffee or do some other things. But what will happen is it will go through and it'll start building up a directory of the files that it recognizes or that it can potentially recover off of that drive. Now you'll notice here, I've got 200,000 files here. This one's starting to climb up on the raw files here. So I'm, I'm reaching a point where I can start recovering drives. What I would normally do, like I said, is I would go off and allow this to completely scan through. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna go into this directory here, go into the NTFS drives. And then what I'll do is, let's see what I can find here. I'll go into the user directory. You can see I've got my user directory that was on this drive. Let's look at downloads and see here. Oh wow, so this is a really old drive. So you can see that this drive was from 2010, 2011. So this is, you know, a 20, or not 20, it's about a 10, 10, 11 year old drive here. So let's see if there's anything here that might be interesting. I can see here, I've got some PlayStation Portable stuff in there. Um, and I've got some old um, ISOs that I downloaded. Let's go to the desktop, see if I put anything on the desktop there. Oh, I had a clean desktop. But here you go, here's a folder here. So there's this Microsoft course on Microsoft Solutions uh, Framework. So I, I used to train people on that course. I could right click here and I could say, let's recover that folder. So it will go through. And now because I have the license here, I'm able to do the recovery. You do need to be licensed to do the recovery. So you can play around and test drives out and such. But if you do want to do any recovery, you, you will need a license. And the license is for the specific computer that you install it on. So you can't install across multiple computers. But what I'll do here 
is I will go into, uh, let's go into the documents folder on my computer. We'll say okay to that. And what it will do is it'll start recovering these files into the documents folder. So you can see here that I have, for example, some trainer CDs. It doesn't really matter what the files themselves are uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. Obviously, if I'm recovering them, it's important to me, but you'll see that it's recovering these files. Now, with any recovery operation, it's really important to go into the recovered files to see if they're actually readable. They're, they may or may not be readable. It, it's going to depend on, you know, the recovery operation. But I went in here and you can see that I've got that file folder was created. You can see that I do have documents in here. I've got some zip files in here as well. Let's go in and look at the PDF here. And it brings up the PDF. And I'll just bring up one of these, uh, you know, RTF files here. It's probably just the, the title page for the course or such. As I suspected, this is really just the cover page for the course. So not, not the most exciting file, but the point is that I was able to recover it. And that's pretty cool. So I could unzip these files and I could, you know, start making sure that I could read them and such. And here I am back at the partition management. I've closed the data recovery tool. Now there's many other things that we can do. One of the things that's very useful is I can just do the right click menu here is I could wipe a partition. And if we want to wipe a partition, we have a lot of different choices. So we can do a quick uh, wipe of the partition by filling everything with zeros. Now, forensically speaking, we would be able to recover that with advanced tools uh, because it does leave an, a signature. But that being said, we can also do a def department of defense type of wipe where we actually go through and do seven different passes of changing the sectors to ones and zeros. That becomes very hard, if not impossible, to forensically recover that. Now, when we had super sensitive drives in the past, we actually had a mechanical disk shredder that would actually turn the disks into metal shards. But if you want to reuse the disk, you're not going to be able to do that. But let's say you have information that's pretty confidential. You do have some concerns that somebody might forensically try to retrieve it. You could do a Department of Defense and feel very comfortable knowing that that drive could be reused for something else and that it was completely wiped. This does take some time to do, so you would leave this run overnight or something. So now let's say I was going to do this. I'll just do a simple quick one. If I say OK to wipe this disk, it's now saying that the drive is unformatted, but unless I hit the apply, it won't actually begin the process of doing that job. So I can just go and undo it and you'll see it goes right back to NTFS. That was the same when I was converting it from NTFS to FAT files. You can be a neighborhood hero. If somebody has a partition that they you know, cannot access anymore, it won't mount in File Explorer and they have a bunch of photos on there. You can often use this tool to recover those photos. So there's lots of cool things that you can do with this tool. I hope that's going to help you, especially if you need to clone your C drive because you're running out of space, or if you want to recover files for a friend or family or for yourself. Now, if the contest, so I do have five free licenses available of the software of the mini tool partition wizard. And what we'll do is to enter the contest, all you have to do is if you like, subscribe, tell a friend, and no, you don't have to do any of that stuff. Here's what we'll do. I have the five licenses, so just comment down below. Now, as I'm filming this video, it's about the middle of September 2022. So at the end of September 2022, so in about a week, two weeks, I'll go into the comments. I'll just, uh, one entry for everybody who comments. So if you comment five times, it'll still just be one entry. And then what I'll do is just use a random selector. I'll use the wheel of names. I have a video on how to do that. So I'll use the wheel of names and then we'll, we'll spin it and we'll get five winners. And those five winners, I will just contact them and give you a license for the software. So that's kind of cool. I thought that's kind of a nice thing for the company to do. So let's go and look at the hard drives of, uh, let's go look at your hard drives. Hopefully you win the contest. If not, they do have a free version of the tool. So you can test it out to see if it'll meet your needs as well. And we'll see you in the next video.